Okay, what I want to talk about today was compressor terminals, the burned off type. Okay, here I have a compressor, obviously this is not put in anything, and if you look close, these terminals are not burned. However, oftentimes they do get burned. There's just a push on connector on these things, and sometimes they get a little bit loose, and they'll heat, and a couple of things may happen then. It could just burn the wire off. It could burn all the way through into the compressor, which means it blows oil and refrigerant all over the place. The compressor's dead. Or it could damage these connections here, these little terminals. Now, if part of this terminal is gone, there's a fairly good chance you're not going to be able to put a terminal on there. Now I'll show you this terminal I'll give you a close-up of it because you can't see it well from here. This is actually designed for these compressors. This is kind of an antique uh, and it would be pushed on like that and a wire would be put on. They're a little different than the regular connectors because this uh, shaft that sticks out interferes with the other connectors. So they made this one a little bit wider. Okay. What I want to do is I want to come up with something that I can put on here that is tight and will save this compressor. Because a lot of guys get this, oh, let's burn it up and throw the compressor away. That's a really expensive part. And if we can save the compressor, why not? So, I picked up these things, and I don't, I'm not selling these things or anything like this. I will give you a model it's called Quick Lug. Uh, QT2800 uh, and these are screw-in type lugs that can be mounted here and then you can put your wires into them. That may save a compressor you know if it's really badly burned off and there's not enough to connect to your, your toast but you could save a com uh, compressor and get the job done in less than an hour. So I'm going to take this stuff out of here and kind of give you an idea how it goes together. It's not a real uh, tutorial on how to put these on, but it kind of gives an overall uh, view of them. Because uh, I think you're smart enough to probably put these on. Yeah. Directions on the back. You know, yeah. Okay. Here the little things are. It kind of looks like a little house. Well, the house part of this goes in like this. That's how that fits in there. And then this little doohickey right here, you hook to your compressor wires, and you're supposed to put it in that way, and tighten this down. Uh, you won't be able to put your uh, plastic cover on there, and it says do not operate without plastic cover. Okay, throw the plastic cover away, and then maybe you won't notice that you shouldn't run it without the plastic cover. Anyway, nice little repair kit to keep in your truck. Uh, that's it on this one.